This is video three in a five part series on an overarching project to pull data out of legacy industrial Internet of Things devices, also known as PLCs or RTUs. We're going to pull that data into something like a Raspberry Pi as an edge of network device. And then we're going to use Node Red to push this data into Azure IoT Hub. We can then use stream analytics to um, push it into a machine learning uh, algorithm. To... So if you want to watch some of the previous videos, go here. You don't have to do that, though. Um, if you are a beginner at Node-RED, you might want to watch this one. So without further ado, let's get going pushing uh, data from Node-RED to the Azure IoT Hub. So for starters, if you don't have this uh, Azure IoT Hub node in Node-RED, I suggest that you go ahead and shut down Node-RED and type something like this. Uh, of course, you don't need sudo if it's Windows. So NP npm install, install this stuff. This last one gets this Node-RED IoT Hub module over here. So um, we're going to go ahead and drag this guy on here. So I've gone to portal.azure.com. You can see that I've already signed in. Uh, create an account if you need to and for sure get some free credits if this is your first time So we're gonna go in here and do new And then Internet of Things And we want an IOT hub Um, this is critical that you click on the pricing tier. You probably don't want to pay $50 a per unit. Um, we can do this free one. Uh, 8,000 messages per day should be good for our testing purposes. Let's try to keep this low cost here. And then of course we want to try to keep all of our stuff in the same location. Uh, so I always try to do East US. Okay, that took about a minute to deploy. What I did is I went to all resources and there's my IoT hub. Clicking on it just shows me some information about the hub. Um, that's really all we need to do here. It, um, oh, that's nice. You can't really interact with your hub from here, so we need a tool. And we're gonna get that tool at github.com forward slash Azure, forward slash Azure IoT SDK S. So we're gonna clone this entire thing. And then in here, I'm gonna dive, hang in, hang in there with me. We're going with tools. Uh, we want device explorer. Device Explorer, um, new, so I'm gonna have to build this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click this start to build it real quick. So now I should be able to go into Device Explorer, bin debug. <laughs> so here's the executable I'm gonna run now for Device Explorer. And then we're gonna put our connection string in here Let's go back to our IoT hub. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch to uh, a different account because I have some stuff set up already. So I click on the IoT hub and we need to get the connection string for our device explorer. So shared access policies, IoT hub owner is like the super user so we can go over here and copy the connection string, paste it in here. It's already here, by the way. So we're going to update. Then you can come over here and manage all of your devices. We need to make a new device. I'm going to do Arduino 001. I'm going to create another device. So we have two devices now. Um, we need to copy 
this connection string. Now I'm going to go over and copy a flow off the internet instead of starting from scratch. So we're going to look for the node red flows. flows.nodered.org. So you can come up in here and search for Azure IoT. And here's my example. You can just copy this flow. Copy. Go to Node Red and we're going to import from clipboard. So here's a whole bunch of different examples. Um, when you get it, the first thing you need to do is modify the Azure IoT Hub and add your host name. So if we go back to this guy, it actually has everything we need. I'm going to copy the connection string. I'm going to paste it in here into a notepad. So here's the connection string. It's this thing. It's the name of your IoT hub. It can also be found right here in the connection string. It's this thing. Of course, your um, IoT hub will be called something different. So we've got this fixed. Each one of these um, injects sends a JSON. So each one we're gonna have to modify. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this guy. I'm going to put it into notepad so it's a little easier to see here. So you can see we have the device ID. I'm going to get the device one connection string two here. So there's my two connection strings. Device one, the key is this. So let's go ahead and just replace the key. Everything else should work. Um, our data is right here. So I'm gonna put this thing back in there. Deploy. And I'm gonna mash this one. For some reason when it works, it usually says undefined. <laughs> That's actually a good sign. So if we go over here and we monitor on our device explorer. I'm going to send a value. Lo and behold, there's our data. So I'm going to fix up these other ones. I'm going to replace the keys and device IDs so that they work. Uh, multiple values is an interesting one. So it's kind of the same idea, only instead of a single uh, key value pair for data, we have a whole bunch of them. So I'm just gonna that in the device explorer, we sent this payload and here's all of the values. And then this bottom one uh, shows you how to do it in a different way. Here's where we just have a payload that's a number and I pass it into a function that builds the JSON. Device one, kind of broken it out so it's a little easier to see where to modify. And then key, so the handy thing about this is Oh, I, let me point out one more thing. We're passing a payload and a topic. So payload is 87, topic is temperature. In the function, we're bringing both of those in for the uh, key value pair. So now I'm actually going to You can see that it's easier to pass a value now. Speed, pressure, temperature. So honestly, that's really getting started, sending your data to the IoT Hub 
In the next video, I will use stream analytics to consume the data and then I will um, I will show how to send the data to a database and also to get it into machine learning. Thanks.